Everyone wants to be rich, but if you ask anyone how much they're worth, 99% of them can't tell you. That's the thing about building wealth. You can't grow what you don't measure. Net worth is how you measure someone's wealth. Think of it like this. If you sold everything that you own, paid off all of your debts, and put the rest into a bank account, what would that number be? It is the only and simplest number you need to focus on if you want to make sure you're making progress. If you're the kind of person that likes to benchmark themselves against others, this is the right video for you as it'll tell you if you're doing well or if you're playing catch up. Let's dive into it. Welcome to Alux, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Okay, so before we start our financial breakdown, there's three things you need to know. One, we're using Western data for this. Think US, Canada, and Western Europe because, well, frankly, countries like India, China, and the Philippines, or even Eastern Europe aren't reporting this kind of financial data altogether. Once again, you can't improve what you don't measure. Simply adjust our financial scale to your economy and figure out where you land. Two, everywhere we looked online, these experts talk about average net worth. But they have the wrong number because, as you know, there are some people out there who have inherited wealth so fast it dramatically skews the average. When making our financial breakdown, we're using what we call the median net worth, where we exclude the extremities. And three, we'll give you your age bracket, a net worth bracket, a median net worth, and lastly, we'll show you how much money you would need to be worth to make it into the top 10% of your age bracket. You're smarter than most, so providing you with this context was important. Okay, so now let's talk numbers. From age 0 to 16 years old. Now, we want to get this out of the way first, since most don't have much net worth outside of the money they get from their parents, grandparents, or your lemonade stand. On the low end, $500. On the high end, $1,000. The median net worth for this large age bracket is about $750 to your name. To make it into the top 10% of this age bracket, you would need to have at least $20,000 worth of value saved up for yourself. One in 10 under 16 years old has 20 grand worth of savings or value to their name acquired by themselves. These are the outliers though, your benchmark is the $500 to $1,000 mark. If you've got less than 500 bucks, you're not doing that well. If you're over 1,000, you can pat yourself on the back. From age 16 to 21 years old. Now this is usually your first job, the first time you're getting paid for your time. You use the money to buy a bunch of liabilities or experiences, and that's expected at your age. You buy a laptop, some clothes, maybe you've got a little bit of money saved up. Your net worth bracket is on the low end, $2,500, and on the high end, $10,000. If you put everything together that you have a value, that is to your name, and it amounts to less than $2,500, you might want to ease up on your spending and focus a bit more on earning. The median net worth for the 16 to 21 year olds is about $4,500. You know you're doing better than most if at this stage your net worth is over 10 grand. To be in the top 10% of your age group, you'll need $65,000 to your name. Think about what it's like to be a 20-year-old with $65,000. You bought yourself a car, you're paying your own rent, and you're fully supporting yourself. You feel rich. This is a great moment to realize just how much further ahead the top 10% are from everyone else, even this early. These are usually young creators, kids with side hustles that have found a way to monetize super early while everyone else is still watching cartoons and getting a summer job at The Gap. From age 21 to 25 years old. So at this stage, you realize just how important money is and how much you actually need it. So you start making moves. On the low end, your net worth should be no lower than $5,000. If it is, that's a red flag. To put things into perspective here, a high net worth is around $50,000. But don't get discouraged. The median net worth in this bracket is about $10,800, meaning more people are on the lower end than the higher end because you still haven't found your footing yet. Those who are crushing it, the top 10% of the age bracket by the age of 25, have crossed the $100,000 mark. They got there because while you're just figuring things out, they've already had a couple of years at it and they found a space where their age is actually an advantage and are monetizing that. Between ages 25 to 31 years old. 
This is when the marketplace puts a value on your skill set. Depending on your education, your early track record, and what they perceive to be your potential, you get paid what you're worth. And before you throw hands, okay, your worth is whatever someone else is willing to pay at scale. On the low end, your net worth should be at least $10,000. Anything lower than that and you need a wake-up call realizing you haven't figured anything out yet. Money is still a mystery to you and you can't afford your current standard of living. Humble yourself a little bit, because although being broke at 25 might pass off as a joke, being broke as you enter your 30s is no laughing matter. Debt is the primary financial stress in your life. The median individual at this age has a net worth of $30,000, and a high net worth is closer to $100,000. To be in the top 10% of your age group, your net worth should be over $175,000. You no longer live with your parents and are fully responsible for your financial future. From age 31 to 35 years old. So you are finally getting paid a fair share here. You changed a couple of jobs, your business had enough time to pay some dividends, you've got clients, and you know how the marketplace works. On the low end, your net worth should be higher than $50,000. On the high end, your net worth is around $250,000. This includes equity in the house, some savings, and other holdings and investments that can be converted to money. The median net worth for this age bracket is $90,000. You're paying off an apartment or a house. You're probably in a serious relationship or looking to start a family. Kids might be on the horizon, and the financial implications of becoming the head of a household scares you a little bit. The top 10% of this age group by the age of 35 has crossed a net worth of $375,000. They know they're doing better than everyone else. Your old friends seem to be falling behind and a gap between you and them is clearly noticeable. From age 35 to 41 years old. If adulting didn't feel real before, it sure does now. This is where the new midlife crisis happens and it's not about buying a red convertible. Instead, it's about getting your shit together. A low net worth is $75,000 and a high net worth is about 450K. By this point, the median individual has $141,000 to their name. Now, statistically, your income will not jump massively. Instead, it'll increase gradually so your financial future is fairly predictable you'll be hitting your earning peak within the next 10 years or so. At this stage, you know what your life will most likely be like, if you'll be able to buy a house or a mansion, travel the world, or rely on food stamps. 60% of divorces happen before the age of 40, and your net worth takes on average a 30% hit after a divorce, so picking the right partner might be one of the most important financial decisions you make in your life. To be in the top 10% of your age group, you should have a net worth of at least $700,000. This means you probably paid off your primary residence and have investments that contribute to your future well-being. You start measuring your wealth outside of your biggest asset, and that is your home. The richest and most successful people put a portion of their money into additional alternative assets, like real estate, private equity, and luxury assets like fine art. And even right now, we can make this diversification part of our own journey with our sponsor, Masterworks. Masterworks' art investing platform has distributed back a total of over $60 million in investor proceeds across their 23 exits, without their investors needing to spend millions of dollars or be art experts themselves. Because once Masterworks files an offering circular with the SEC, they open blue chip paintings to investors in the form of offering shares. This way, if it works for you, you can diversify into multiple artworks while controlling the amount you invest. Masterworks has turned this previously inaccessible asset class into a legitimate option for investors. With some of their previous offerings, including legendary artists like Picasso, Basquiat, and Banksy, they're nearing over $1 billion in total invested capital across their 400 offered works with over 900,000 members. And shares of some of their offerings have previously sold out in minutes. But since so many Alux subscribers have signed on so far, you can still skip the waiting list and start investing today by scanning the QR code on screen or going to masterworks.art slash Alux. Because you know, a big red flag is hitting 40 without any outside investments that will grow your wealth through time. Otherwise, whatever wealth you manage to acquire by now will only be eaten away by inflation. 
from age 41 to 45. You are established in your industry. Statistically, your net worth will have doubled over the last decade, and for the first time in your life, you are debt-free, or at least you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You feel secure from a financial perspective as your lifestyle has stabilized. You know how much you can spend and you're comfortable with that number. You hit an earning to spending balance. And because of this, most people see a plateau from a net worth growth perspective. A low net worth here is about $100,000, while a high net worth is around 750 k the biggest shocker on our data here is that the median net worth actually goes down to $135,000. This happens because at this age, well, your kids become even more expensive, so you liquidate some of your holdings to pay for school and everything else. This doesn't apply to the top 10%, who by this point have already crossed into millionaire status, with the threshold of being in the top 10% around $1,050,000. Your investments are growing faster than your lifestyle. And as this video goes on, you'll really realize the power of compounding applied to the wealth of these individuals compared to the masses. All right, moving on from age 45 to 51. So by this point, you hold a senior position or your business is fully established. You've seen some growth, your kids are growing up, and most people have foregoed the dreams of being a celebrity or a professional athlete. A low net worth is $175,000, while a high net worth is about $950,000. The median net worth is about $215,000. To be in the top 10% of your age bracket, you would need about $1.95 million. Something extraordinary starts to happen around this age. The value of the assets you bought over a decade ago, well, they keep climbing and hedging you against inflation. The house you bought for 400 k is now worth $750,000. If you are disciplined enough not to sell any of your stocks and keep on contributing, you should see your portfolio go up substantially through the last decade. You're financially mature to be able to ride out a financial crisis and know how to take advantage of a recession. From age 51 to 55 years old. So every trend you picked up until now holds true. You're shocked that property prices are still climbing. A low net worth is $200,000. This means you haven't really bought anything with real value in your early days. A high net worth is about $1.2 million. The median net worth of this age group as of this year is $275,000. To put things into perspective, the median net worth has shot up 40% since 2019, mostly due to COVID and inflation. To qualify as a top 10 percenter in this age bracket, your net worth should be over $2.5 million. Now on to age 55 to 61 years old. So by this point, your kids have left home, it's just you, your spouse, and maybe the dogs. Your house is now worth way more than you think it's really worth, but you're happy that there's growth there. You're in the last years of your job and are looking to either sell your business or pass it down. You're thinking about retirement often and you worry that whatever wealth you have amassed might not be enough to maintain the same lifestyle you currently have into retirement. Health is now your primary concern that could impact your financial future. A low net worth is $250,000. A high net worth at 57 is $1.75 million. The median net worth is around 350 k To be in the top 10% of your age bracket, your net worth should be over $3 million by this point. You look forward to dropping down your expenses and focusing on saving for retirement. Age 61 to 65 years old. So traditional retirement is just around the corner. You're tired and you're done with work. Only about 25% of men and 15% of women continue working after the age of 65. You made most of your big financial decisions already. A low net worth is $300,000. A high net worth is $2 million and the median net worth is around 400K. You've got a portfolio or at least some assets your children will argue about once you're no longer here and that stresses you out a bit. The plan was to travel the world, but your sense of adventure is long gone by now. You prefer cruises because of how comfortable and predictable they are. The dream always was to buy a boat or a holiday home, but only one in 20 people buy that holiday home they wanted. 
since the second home median price is around $435,000, you need to be on the higher end of the net worth bracket to be able to afford that purchase, plus the taxes and maintenance. So most will settle for a timeshare or just renting. To be in the top 10% of your age group, your net worth should be north of $3.3 million. You might start to find or rediscover religion and increase your contribution to the church. From ages 65 to 71. Surprise, surprise, but this is the first time your net worth doesn't go up. On the low end, we see about 300K. On the high end, that same 2 million, and that 400K median stays the same. And for the first time, you actually need less money to be in the top 10% with just $3 million as a threshold. The reason is that by this point, most people have hit retirement age. You lack the hustle, the desire, and in some cases, the ability to perform well in the market. You refer to your prime earning years as the golden years of your career. At this point, 42% of retirees receive income from investments. You're excited about the idea of having grandkids and having this much time on your hands. From age 71 to 75 years old. Even though you're no longer working, your net worth keeps climbing. As cities expand and the population grows, the demand for whatever assets you have acquired in your life increases, and so do prices. A low net worth is considered $350,000, an increase from before, but a high net worth is now $1.85 million, a decrease from the previous bracket. The main problem with almost 50% of the population is they have no savings whatsoever into retirement. 15% of retirees still carry some sort of debt to this day, usually mortgage or credit card debt. The median net worth in the West after the age of 70 is about $430,000. To be in the top 10% in terms of net worth, you need $2.75 million. From age 75 to 85 years old. At this point, 70% of people have a pension. Approximately 15% of retirees rely on their children for financial support. A low net worth is $300,000, with the median being very close to only $350,000, so most of them are around here. A high net worth is $1.85 million. To make it into the top 10%, you'll need a net worth of $2.75 million. Most 80-year-olds are scared that their savings will not last them until the day they die. And many will sell their homes to be able to afford the costs of elderly care membership communities. And then there's the age of 85 and up. So as of 2024, only 24% of people reach the age of 85. The great news is that number is rapidly going up. The bad news is 85 to 100 years old is incredibly expensive from a healthcare perspective. The liquidation of assets continues to pay for healthcare, so the numbers are going down across the board. On the low end, 250,000. On the high end, 1.2 million. The median barely crosses 300K. The top 10% considered to be rich old folks have a net worth of $1.9 million. So, Knowing what you know now, how much do you want to be worth by the time you're 65? Let us know in the comments, Aluxer, and since you've watched this very different video until the very end, here's a bonus. You should calculate your net worth at least once per year. So your net worth equals assets minus liabilities. By doing this once a year, you can optimize for growth. This is one of those cornerstone ideas in our Alux app that we prioritize with all of our members. Our goal is to help you increase your net worth faster than the economy, and then you're able to increase your lifestyle. There's a smart way to do it, and there are inefficient ways to go about it. If this video was a wake-up call for you that you might be falling behind, we recommend you download the Alux app and simply fill in the onboarding survey just to see how well you're doing across the five pillars. If you want to take your future seriously, get a yearly subscription and let's get to work. For those of you who feel like you're a little bit behind, scan the QR code on screen and you'll get a 50% discount on the yearly plan. 50% off. That's just our way of saying thank you. The truth is, there's another segment of the population we didn't even mention in this video because it would trigger most people. They're called HNWI, High Net Worth Individuals. These are people whose net worth is over $30 million no matter their age. 
As of last year, there were 233,590 individuals in the U.S. alone with net assets of at least $30 million. If a quarter million people were able to get $30 million, so can you. To make it even more fun, there's a subset of those called golden millionaires. You qualify as a golden millionaire when your net worth in millions is higher than your age. So if you're 30, having over $30 million and so on. If this sounds like the right challenge for you, write the word golden in the comments. Let's see how many of you plan on becoming golden millionaires.